Hello! In this video, I'm going to showcase how I set up VoiceMeter Banana in conjunction with NVIDIA Shadow Play to record clips with separate game and audio tracks. First, we need to download VoiceMeter Banana and GeForce Experience from their respective websites. I'll include links to these in the description. Once that's done, you need to reboot your computer. After that, you can open GeForce Experience and make sure that your game overlay is working. By clicking this button right here. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus Z to open and close, just like this. Once that's done, we need to open your audio settings, click on Sounds, and click on Playback. Here, you need to make sure that voice meter input is set as your default device. I also set my voice meter AUX input to my default communications device. You can also peek over here and make sure that your default microphone that you're using is set as your default device. After that, we need to open Banana. Make sure you're opening Banana and not normal voice meter. They are both included in the same download. In here, let's start by setting our hardware out. I've got a SteelSeries Arctis 7 headset, which means I've got two audio devices that I can use to pipe audio into my headphones. One of them is intended for game, and the other one is intended for chat, like Discord. So for A1, I'll set my game, and for A2, I'll set my chat, just like that. Before we set our microphone right here, I'm going to remove all these pipings, because otherwise we're going to get some loopbacks, and that's annoying. Like that, let's set our microphone, and you'll see that when we're talking, we're getting some action over here. Now the way we're going to record our microphone using Shadowplay is by piping it through a virtual microphone. That way, we can combine our Discord audio and our microphone audio into one virtual source. So for that, we're going to select B1 here and B1 on our Discord inputs right here. Now you'll see when we're talking, we're getting action over here and we're also getting action over here. Now any audio that Windows sends us will come in through this channel right here and we're going to route that right into our headphones with A1. Any audio that Discord sends us will come through right here and I want to hear that in my chat device. Therefore, I'll route it through A2. If your headphones only has one sound device, it's perfectly safe to route through A1 instead. I just prefer this way. Finally, here are some settings that I use to tweak the audio to my liking. I set the gain on my microphone to plus 3 decibels. I have the noise gate to 1.1, like that. And then the gain on the virtual microphone to plus 8 decibels. To wrap things up, we need to go back into Shadowplay, make sure Instant Replay is turned off right now, Going to Settings, Audio, and make sure that the audio source here is Voice Meter Output, not Voice Meter Aux Output. And we also need to make sure that we're separating both tracks, otherwise they're going to be combined into one single track, which we don't want. So make sure it's on Separate. Now we can go back and turn on Instant Replay, just like that. And while we're at it, we can make sure that Discord is outputting to the correct device. Let's see. Voice meter aux input. Voice meter aux input. So it's coming through the right way. Now, when we drag a clip that we've recorded into an editing software, like this, we can see that both audio tracks come through one for Discord and one for game, just as they should. Also, if you want to view the clip in films and TV, it can be handy to know about this button right here to change what audio track you're currently listening to. But that's it. Thanks for watching.